what do we have here? I'm going for a few days and we get a new machine. All right. GE Logic E10. My word. This thing goes up to 24 megahertz. All right, so here's a quick breakdown of the new machine. Logic E10, GE Logic E10. Uh, we've always used the Logic 9s, so this is the new one. Uh, screen, pretty much the same. Uh, nice flat base. Here's the touch screen. All right, so there's your choice of transducers. Uh, what I don't like about this new machine is that it doesn't have the external TGC buttons. It has a slide here, so you click on here. And you can adjust the TGCs this way. I don't like it. One thing that I think they've actually added intuitively is usually when you're using the, the TCDs, you kind of will do motions like this. That's pretty much how I use it. I, although I do a lot more fine tuning, right? I'll do a lot of more fine tuning. I don't know if you can do that here. Oh, actually you can. All right, so that's not that bad. Okay, that's not that bad. That's pretty much how I use it intuitively. All right, so I redact my statement. Um, that's fine. But there's also this right here. So near TGCs would be these and you can kind of just scroll them. So if they're like set in a line, you can kind of do like a, like a nice little curve. And then far TGCs, click down and it's the same thing. All right, so not too bad. Uh, I guess I'm not a boomer after all. I can, I can deal with that. I like that. But whatever, obviously you have the normal stuff. Choose your patient, new patient, blah, 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 all that stuff. Scan is the same thing as pressing the B button. Is the same thing as pressing the unfreeze button. All right, let's see what else. Utility, that's to change all the parameters of the machine. And exam is obviously to end the exam. All right, so the touchscreen is nice. Looks like an iPad. Looks like a, you know, like a Tesla. Pretty. All right, so once you have your patient chosen, you can choose whatever transducer you want. If you're doing an abdomen complete, you're usually gonna go with C16. Now this is the C16 pretty much identical to the ones from the Logic 9. I'm sure it might have some, maybe some updates. I don't know, but it looks very similar. All right, so the other transducers are the C29, which is we had on the other machine too. This is used for pediatric abdomens and stuff like that. It's like the smaller baby version of this one that has higher megahertz. So it goes up to nine megahertz, sweet. Then we have the L29, which I suppose is the new version of the 9L. And I've already used it and it takes very, very beautiful pictures. I'll try it out right now. All right. New also is the linear hockey stick. The other one used to go to L L18. This one goes to 24. I've also used it right now. Here's an example. All right, so more on transducers. You have the ML615, great for thyroids. You could also use it on uh, appendixes if they're very thin, you wanna get a nice picture. Same thing with this one. I use this on sometimes real small patients that have appendicitis, wanna get, wanna get nice pictures, like the example I just showed. Uh, thyroids, testicles, musculoskeletal. This one is also available in the other machine, C310, really good for baby brains, right? Also can be used for neonatal abdomens. It's very nice. You can use this for vascular and neonatal uh, abdomens if you're doing like renal dopplers and stuff like that, beautiful. An endovaginal probe. I haven't used this at all. We work in pediatrics, so I don't really use this. I don't, I guess maybe this machine's a demo, I don't know. And this 3D probe, which is great for obstetrics, but I will try to see if I can incorporate this into some imaging to see if I could just get some 3D images of things we don't normally do 3D images of, just for, uh, you know, just for curiosity and learning purposes. So once you choose your transducer, you can choose what setting you want to use. If you use abdomen, obviously abdomen and then abdomen. And they also have a section there for bowel. If you're using this one, you can choose your maybe musculoskeletal settings. We use that one always for appendix. The L9 for appendix is always, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that one for appendixes too. So we have appendixes, you see you have other things there. Wrist, scrotal. Now I would only use that for a scrotal if it was like, you know, very swollen or a lot of edema. But for a regular scrotal, you use the 15. So frame average and frame rate, I always keep those low. Oftentimes I'll put these at zero too if, they're getting, if I'm getting too much motion artifact. I really like this keyboard. It's soft. It doesn't click clickety clack like the old one. I actually like this a lot. It still gives you a little click. All right, I like that. So if you take a bunch of stuff you don't want, you know, you don't want to keep, you keep that clear button and then it goes away. 
right, so obviously your letters, very simple. There's usually a letter up here for print screen, screen right here. And it's the same thing as using this. So you can use this and it'll take an image. I never use that. Uh, Logic apps, I don't know what that's for. Maybe that's to connect with uh, technical support. Don't know. 3D, 4D button is obviously for that 3D probe. Elasto is for elastography. Never use that. Logic view, this is for um, panoramic views. Let me show you real quick. All right, so if you wanna do a, a panoramic view with the, with the logic view, you gotta find your spot, press the L button. All right, I use the end of my radius there, and then you just track. Nice and steady, you can kind of fix it as you're going along. This is just an example, it's not gonna be my best panoramic, but, and then when you're done, press the R button. And there you go, you have a panoramic following the radius and the musculature. So that's logic view, then you have M mode, which is, you can use it for motion, any motion of anything really, but you can use it a lot in a cardiac applications, fetal heart rate. We use it also for diaphragm movement. Here's an example of my like left parasternal long axis-ish view. And there you can see the M mode at the level of the mitral valve. So this is obviously not very optimal. This is what the curve probe. Uh, we don't even have cardiac presets on this machine, but just so you can get an idea. Okay, this knob is for depth. So if you want to go shallower, you go up. If you want to go deeper, you go down. And then it also has for, if you twist it, you can narrow your field of view or make it wider and then if you turn to the right you can steer i never really use the steering but i do use the zooming up a lot so you have power doppler which we use a lot or i use it a lot at least b flow which i use a lot as well and then harmonics turn it on or off i usually always have it on sometimes i'll turn it off depending on the patient uh, we have when you hit color flow some more stuff comes up on the screen so you have slow flow. If you want to pick up, you know, tight stenosis, if you, if you have that, you can press that and pick that up. Or if you're doing like a renal artery or intra-renal flow, you can use the, the fast flow or penetration for larger patients. And then you have the radiant flow, which is real pretty. This is an example. Here's a color dumper on the carotid, on my carotid. And there's radiant flow in the portal vein. Almost looks like an upside down boot. All right, so this is Spectro Doppler. You click it on to turn it on and obviously gain higher to the right, lower to the left. Here's an example. Pretty nice. I have the radiant flow there as well. All right, now let's look at some cases. This is an appendix and transverse with a nine megahertz transducer. You can see the image is extremely clear. It's measuring uh, about 1.5 centimeters. This is with the radiant flow, look how pretty. And this is Sagittal, look how clear you can see the gut signature. And here's a pancreas and transverse, look at that how clear. And this is another appendix with the L22 megahertz transducer, not in a baby at all. And this is just amazing. This is Sagittal, look how you can see the layers of the wall, you can see the debris inside the gallbladder. And there's free fluid there. Okay, hope you enjoyed this quick demo of the new Logic E10. Thank you, bye.